allow fire signs. Let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. And it could be about pretty much anything. Love, finances, friendship, uh, trips, whatever comes up. We'll have four separate spreads in this reading. Uh, the first spread is for all fire signs. It's like a bonus. And then there's going to be a separate spread for every fire sign individually. Timestamps should be in the description box down below. Uh, please share, like, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is for all uh, fire signs. We have the three of ones clarified by judgment. We have the devil. We have the six of cups clarified by the page of cups and the eight of ones. And uh, we have the queen of ones on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing uh, maybe with a Capricorn or um, a fellow fire sign, another Aries, another Leo, another Sagittarius, or any zodiac sign. Here's the deal. You're definitely dealing with something or someone from the past. And... Uh, this, what I'm about to say, it could go either way. It, either you are feeling this way and you're about to do it, or the person, uh, or somebody else is feeling this way and uh, you'll be hearing from them. Okay? Let's, let's address the obvious. Let's address the devil. <laughs> Alright? The devil could simply be a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. But uh, for most of you, the devil, together with judgment and the Six of Cups, this is something or someone from the past. Something that's perhaps been on your mind for a while, or someone's been on your mind for a while, um, and uh, over this weekend, I don't want to say you're going to cave in, I don't want to say you're going to capitulate, but uh, you kind of are. Not in a bad way, okay? Say you've been to some sort of um, ice cream shop <laughs> and you really like their ice cream, but you're on a diet right now. And uh, over the weekend, you're going to be like, oh my God, I am craving that ice cream so much. And uh, guess what? You're going to go back to that ice cream shop and get that ice cream. All right? That's just an example. We could be talking about another person. All right? Somebody very, very irresistible with the devil card. You know, um, and uh, yeah, you're, if you are unable to resist somebody, you're going to be reaching out to this person, or it could be this person, unable to hold back, unable to say no, and uh, you're going to be hearing from them. I hope this makes sense, but that's how I see this, right? Uh, that's what I think the devil is, together with judgment on the left and the six of cups to the right from the devil, right? Devil plus those two cards, it's something or someone from the past. Okay, <laughs> the Six of Cups is clarified by the Page of Cups and the Eight of Wands. And uh, the Page of Cups is either reaching out to someone, approaching someone, or going somewhere, right? Because uh, the Eight of Wands is also a card of communication, just like the Page of Cups, or it's a card of literally going somewhere, or both. All right, so you're going to be facing something or someone from the past, and I think you're going to enjoy it. I think you're going to enjoy it. Whatever it is, ice cream <laughs> or uh, an encounter with another person or another situation or another location. All right? Cool. Here it is. Uh, we have the Ten of Wands clarified by death. Uh, we have uh, the Sun, the Fool, and the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You're going to be dealing with uh, Scorpio, Leo, and maybe another Aries. Well, you know what I thought of? Right away when I saw these cards, I almost even um, yelled it, freedom, freedom, finally, at long last, freedom, Aries, all right? It, it feels like you, perhaps you're taking this whole weekend off, maybe you work during the weekend, usually, but this weekend you're getting the whole weekend off, and it's a long weekend, and you're like, yay, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. <laughs> For others of you, maybe you're right before the weekend meeting a deadline at work, right? Or some kind of a burden is coming to an end. Perhaps you're going to pay off your home, you're going to pay off your car, you're going to pay off some kind of a student loan, and you're like, yay, I don't have to pay anymore. You know, whatever it is, whatever, something is coming to an, end, to an end, some kind of a burden with the death and the 10 ones and you're going to be super, super happy about it. Okay? Yeah, the Ten of Wands is a card of a burden, something that's taken a toll on us, a lot of responsibility, something we struggle with, and it's coming to an end with the Death card. It's done. It's over with. No more. Right? The Sun, right next to it, is the happiest card in the deck. The Fool, further down, that's you. Aries, that's one of your major kind of cards, but at the same time, the Fool is a card of liberation. Yay! You see the Sun and the Fool, they even kind of look alike. They even kind of look alike. 
right? And the other ones on the bottom of the deck could be a card of travel, could be a card of communication, and all that good stuff. All right? Cool. Leo, we have uh, the Five of Cups clarified by the Eight of Cups. We have the um, Ace of Pentacles clarified by Justice. Uh, we also have the Six of Wands clarified by the Queen of Wands. And uh, we have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Libra, maybe a fellow Fire Sign, or any Zodiac sign. You'll be hearing from somebody from the past. Uh, Leo, but uh, hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. This spread doesn't have to be about love. It could be about love, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, because uh, we do have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. From what I see uh, early in the spread, the Page of Cups is most likely an apology, or maybe somebody wants to talk to you, uh, grab a cup of coffee with you, grab a bite together with you, get in the conference room with you, meet you on the golf course. I don't know. But this is definitely somebody from your past, right? Because we start with the Five of Cups, clarified by the Eight of Cups. The Five of Cups is a card of grief and regret. The Eight of Cups, clarifying that, um, it, somebody walked away in the past, you know? Somebody walked away, Leo. It could have been you, right? Say you decided to quit the job and you walked away. Um, for whatever reason, you walked away and they've been missing you. They've been regretting letting you, letting you go ever since. And now they're going to come back and offer you uh, your old job back. For others of you, it could be a love interest, it could be a friend, right? Somebody. Because whoever it is, whatever the nature of this connection is, uh, they're coming back with the Ace of Pentacles clarified by justice. That's some serious stuff. All right. Justice could be a card of a major, major apology. Justice could be a Libra you're dealing with, right? Um, the Ace of Pentacles could be your job offer, uh, your old job offer to to get you back, right? And uh, I think they're gonna uh, shell out some some major some major cheese, some major some major change with that Ace of Pentacles, okay? And uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, if it, it is if it is about love, if I can speak today, uh, then the Ace of Pentacles it could be a proposal, marriage proposal. If it's not a marriage proposal, then they will offer you a commitment. They will. Okay. The Six of Wands, clarified by the Queen of Wands, that's where where I think you come in, uh, Leo. The Queen of Wands, I think that's you. And the Six of Wands is a card of victory and success. It's a card of feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's going on. So you will at least feel good about the fact that this person is back. All right. I don't know if you're going to accept this or take this person back or go back to your old workplace, but you will at least feel good about it. If you decide to go back, then you will be welcomed back <laughs> with that 601s. All right. Cool. Sagittarius, um, we have uh, the Three of Swords, clarified by the Tower, we have the Page of Cups, clarified by the Lovers, we have the Ace of Wands, clarified by the Queen of Wands, and uh, we have the World on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Gemini or absolutely any Zodiac sign. This will most likely resonate with you, uh, Sagittarius, if you recently had... Um, some kind of an unfortunate event happened to you. I'm not predicting anything like that to happen. If this is your reading, I think it already took place. And um, over this weekend, things will turn around. Okay? <laughs> Let me explain. Let me elaborate a little further, right? We have the Three of Swords clarified by the Tower. Those are the two cards that came out all right away, right, in the beginning. And uh, both of them together, devastation, right? I'm just being honest with you. It's a devastation. If some sort of an unfortunate event happened to you, um, you broke up with somebody, you went through a divorce, you lost a friend because they betrayed you, because they stabbed you in the back, what have you. And I, it's, you're still kind of sitting in that energy. You're still recovering from that. All right, so here comes the Page of Cups, clarified by the Lovers. The Lovers is a Gemini, major icon card. We're right in the middle of, well, almost in the middle of a Gemini birthday season. In the beginning, rather. And uh, the Page of Cups is an invitation. Somebody's going to invite you. <laughs> it could be an invitation to that Gemini's birthday party. It could be the birthday boy or the birthday girl inviting you. Or maybe another friend of yours. They will invite you to a Gemini's birthday party as a plus one. You know, that happens, and uh, I suggest you go. 
I suggest you go. The Lovers, by the way, is also a card of a choice. In my opinion, the Lovers is the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's a card of a soulmate connection, a twin flame connection, and the love of your life. Maybe you're just walking down the street all sad, all devastated, and somebody will, you know, ask you what's going on with you, why you're so sad. And that, that person may turn out to be the love of your life, <laughs> Sagittarius. But for most of you, yeah, somebody's going to invite you. Maybe it's a friend who wants to cheer you up, a friend who wants to, you know, get your mind off of what happened to you. And uh, the rest is all nice new beginning, I guess. The Ace of Wands clarified by the Queen of Wands, that's you, 24-7. Right? Uh, you see how the Queen of Wands is holding up a wand? That's exactly the one we see in the Ace of Wands. So this is you uh, going back to your normal, typical, all fiery Sagittarius self. Okay? <laughs> this is you getting all excited, getting all, you know, back to normal, basically. There could be a new beginning, right? Maybe this new person, like I said, is the love of your life. The world on the bottom of the deck is a card of an ending, but in this case it's an ending of the bad negative chapter. Whatever happened to you with those two cards in the beginning, it's going to become a thing of the past. Okay, Sagittarius? Cool.